Hello and welcome to Anime Animosity. I recently got around to rewatching some anime, and one of those shows is the topic of today's video. Now, while I dislike the use of the term underrated, since most people don't justify their claim when saying that X show is underrated or X show is overrated, the show I'm going to talk about today is, in my opinion, underrated. And hopefully this video will justify that. Well, it probably won't, but you can go see for yourself by watching it. But what show is that? Well, it's anime of 2017 that came out in the fall season. And that show is none other than Just Because. Now, having come out in the same year as quite a few shows with similar genre, such as Masamune Kunda Revenge, Kuzuno Honka, which I believe is equally as underrated, uh, Shimatsu Nanaka shim Shitemashita Ka, Isogashi Deska, Sukute Morate I Deska, whatever that is in English, uh, the second season of Seikano, um, Tsuki Akire, Gamers, Suridura Children, Aho Girl, Koi to Uso, Ancient Magus Bride, Recovery Never Mo Junkie, and some other pretty big shows like Black Clover, Boruto, Food Wars, uh, Kakai Sensen Season 2, Sangat's New Lion Season 1 and Season 2, Kakagurui, Classroom of the Elite, My Hero Academia Season 2, Attack on Titan Season 2, Recreators, Blue Exorcist Season 2, and the second season of Konosuba. And with all of that, it's not a big surprise that the show got overlooked, somewhat, back when it aired. To be honest, having just looked back at 2017, well, it was a pretty good year, in my opinion. But, even now, I don't see many people mention Just Because at all. So, instead of waiting for someone with an actual following to talk about it, I'll talk about it to absolutely no one in an attempt to get this show out there. But it probably won't, because, well, like I said, no one will watch this. That probably wasn't even funny, was it? Like, does anyone find self-deprecating humour funny anymore? Eh, uh, who cares? It's in now. Anyway... What is Just Because? Well, it's a romance drama, a coming-of-age story, a human drama. Now, me listing off ways of summarising what the show is probably won't be enough to get you hooked enough to watch it. But if you like any of those three quote-unquote genre that I just mentioned, well, you will like Just Because. It's a simple fact. Now, Just Because is a TV original anime. It's not based off a manga or a light novel or a book. It's a completely original. And it's from Hajime Kamoshida, the author of Bunigo Senpai and Sakura Sono Pets the Kanjo, or The Pet Girl of Sakura So in English, and Kiseki Himura. And it is produced by Studio Pine, who in the same year as Just Because made Gamers. Um, two seasons before? It was either one or two seasons before Just Because came out, they made Gamers. Now, the story of Just Because focuses primarily on three high school students. Izumi Eta, Soma Haruto, and Natsume Mio, who all knew each other in middle school. And toward the end of the second year of middle school, Izumi had to move due to his dad being relocated, and as such, moved to school. And our story takes place four years later, right at the end of their third year, and third and final year of high school. When Izumi once again, moves due to his dad's work. Only this time, it's back to where he used to live, and he obviously moves schools. And now he attends the same high school as his once close friend, Haruto, from middle school, and his crush, Natsume, from the same time. Haruto and Izumi kept in contact for a short while after Izumi moved, but after not messaging each other for a few days, then weeks, then months, you get the gist. They stopped talking altogether due to finding it awkward to just message out of the blue. But now, they are reunited. And, reluctantly, Izumi joins Haruto in playing some two-man baseball, where Haruto hits an out-of-the-park home run. But why did he ask Izumi to pitch for him? Well, he was aiming for a home run. It was a prayer of sorts. If he got the home run, then things would go well. 
but go well with what, exactly? Well, Haruto, having gotten his home run, goes to ask out a girl. That girl being Morikawa Hazuki, a girl in his class, who, while having not talked to much at all, he has had a crush on for a good while. However, this didn't go too well. Now, he doesn't get rejected, mind you, but he also doesn't confess, either. He merely states that he is free tomorrow, while, um, what's the best way to describe it? Embarrassed out of his mind so much that he can't formulate a sentence? Yeah, that'll do. And, unfortunately for Haruto, him and Hazuki aren't alone. After being left by Haruto, Izumi goes to leave school, and bumps into a girl. This girl being his old crush, and they just so happen to bump into each other right by where Haruto ran in to Morikawa. Shortly after realizing this, Morikawa's friend, Inui Yoriko, arrives at the scene, oblivious as to what was going down. And this leads to all five of them going on a day out to the aquarium, which was originally planned to be a date between Haruto and Morikawa. Unlucky, my guy. Unlucky. And with that, most of the important characters have been introduced, and the first episode has been summarised. But there is one more character that I haven't touched on, and that is Komiya Ina. And while she is introduced in the first episode, she isn't relevant until sometime after, and I don't really want to spoil too much of the story for you, in case you want to go check it out yourself. And from there, just because tackles high school relationships, how they change with time, and to the extent... <coughs> and, to an extent, what it means to strive for a goal in life. Kind of. And also, it makes a point of, yeah, when you stop talking to someone and seeing them every day, it becomes very hard to keep in contact with them. As with Izumi and Haruto, and it's brought up multiple times throughout the show, and you'll understand why um, if you watch it. When you watch it. You better watch it. Now, in all honesty, that brief summary of the first episode probably didn't hook you on the show. But trust me, there is much more to it than coincidental meetings, old friendships, and old love triangles. The show is both heartwarming and serious, and with my second rewatch, I found myself enjoying the show a lot more. Perhaps that's because my situation has changed from my first time watching it, but who knows? Seriously, give this show a watch, and I'm sure you'll understand what I mean when I say that this show is underrated. Honestly though, I might have a small personal bias toward the show, given that the opening, over and over, is a song by Yanagi Nagi, who also did all three of the openings to Origairu. So some of my feelings for that probably blend into Just Because. Though, the shows do have some similarities aside from the singer of the OP. So, take that as you will. And, quickly touching on the music, the show has a decent soundtrack and decent sound design, so if you do care about that, then there's another reason for you to check out just because. But with all that said, I've been Animosity, you've been you, and to close off, I will give you one final reason to go watch this anime. In fact, this reason works for just about any anime, or any show, or any media out there. And that is to watch it for no other reason than just because. Tata for now.